Hello, and welcome to the Truth Daily Devo, where we strengthen and encourage believers through a consistent and faithful engagement with Scripture. I'm Damian Dunlap, the lead pastor at Truth Fellowship Community Church in Panama City Beach, Florida, and I want to thank you for joining us today. How often do we find ourselves envying people who haven't submitted their lives to God's will? Hey, listen, it's hard for us to say it, but the Bible calls those people evil. I know, I said it. Well, I didn't say it, the Bible said it. Today's passage reminds us not to be envious of evil people, but also gives us an alternative path to reach true fulfillment. We're going to be reading in Proverbs chapter 24, verses 1 through 6 in the New Living Translation. And it reads, Don't envy evil people or desire their company, for their hearts plot violence and their words always stir up trouble. A house is built by wisdom and becomes strong through good sense. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with all sorts of precious riches and valuables. The wise are mightier than the strong, and those with knowledge grow stronger and stronger. So don't go to war without wise guidance. Victory depends on having many advisors. One thing the devil is really good at is making what is bad seem good. Think about it. That's his original trick all the way back to in the garden. And he's still using that trick today. And the crazy thing is that it still works. When we envy evil people, it draws our hearts away from God's will and towards following our own will. That's why Proverbs warns us about even desiring the company of evil people. Now, to be clear, the Bible doesn't say not to be in the company of evil people, because if that were to be the case, how should we be able to share the gospel? The difference is where our desire falls. Instead, we should realize that our house, which represents our possessions and our legacy, is built by wisdom and become strong through good sense. It's not rocket science out here since it's just the basics of walking in wisdom and common sense. It may not seem like it, but the wiser are mightier than the strong because as verse five reminds us, those with knowledge will consistently grow stronger and stronger. Now the last verse of this passage reminds us that our victory depends on wise counsel which comes from many advisors. Wisdom is definitely one of those areas where there is strength in numbers. I love how the last verse of this passage makes this warning about not going into war without wise guidance. It reminds me that there's a big difference between how we should operate in peacetime and how we function in wartime. During normal situations in everyday life, you can probably get by by figuring things out yourself. And maybe with the support of a spouse, a good friend, or a parent, we can figure out most stuff. But when things get real, when disaster strikes, when we know we're about to go to war with the enemy, that's the time when we need to call in all the prayer warriors, get all the advice that we can get. Think about it this way. If you go to the doctor and they tell you that you have, say, let's say the flu, you take their word for it, get some meds, rest, and hope to feel better soon. But if you go to the same doctor and they tell you something disastrous like you have cancer, well, it's a completely different story. Now, our immediate reaction is to go see a specialist and, and probably get a second or maybe even a third opinion. Why? Because we are preparing for a war. So it only makes sense that the approach that we take during peacetime just isn't going to cut it. Let's pray. God, thank you for today. Though we want to take this moment to lift up everyone who's fighting a battle or in the midst of a war, help them to get the counsel that they need to be victorious. Help us to all put our faith in you, Lord, and to trust in you with everything that we have. Help us to be more committed each day to crucifying our flesh and walking in your will for our lives. God, we trust that your will for us is good and perfect. And we thank you for your love and patience. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we look forward to continuing this journey through scripture each weekday. Have an awesome day and God bless. Thank you.